I'm Connie Townsend, group fitness instructor with the Wenatchee Racket and Athletic Club, doing another at-home workout. And today, we're going to combine, use some kickboxing arm movements to work our core. So we're not going to be doing a bunch of crazy kicks or anything. We will be using our legs a little with some knee up. But don't worry, we're not going to, we're not going to go crazy with kickbox kicking. We're going to also get the heart rate up. So this could be a kickbox cardio core day. All right, we're going to start with the warm-up. Let's widen out those feet. We're going to roll our shoulders back, 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 back. So let your arms just dangle. We're not moving in big arm movements. We're trying to get those shoulders to roll, get the shoulder blades to start moving. OK, right now those shoulders are rolling back. Swaying motion, the rhythmic movement to get the, start getting the heart rate up, and the muscles warm. All right. Now just come to a stop with the shoulders and let's roll them forward. Same thing, but a forward motion. That really helps to get those muscles in the upper back to start stretching and warming up. All right, you're starting to activate your core by drawing the navel toward the spine. We're going to keep it drawn in the whole time <laughs> so that we can get the most benefit out of the core exercises. All right, let's make it a little oscillating motion <clears throat> in the washing machine. So your upper body is turning with your hips. So we're not twisting the spine here, but we are starting to warm up around the torso starting to get the fl blood flowing from the core of the body to the extremities, getting the muscles warmed up and ready for movement. You're letting that heel come up, so you're pivoting on the toe. And we're going to keep that stance as we add a punch to it. So we're going to turn and cross, cross, cross cross. Now your hands start at the ready position. So that's kind of next to your cheekbone. We're turning like we were just doing with the washing machine. But now we're adding just a straight on punch. So this is called the cross because you're coming from the back arm, crossing the body with that arm. Now relax the shoulders. Don't let them get too tense. And the power behind punches co actually comes from the body. So you're getting the torso to turn and be the power behind that cross. In four, three. Now let the arms rest a moment. We're going to bring the knee up, knee up, knee up, knee up. All right, so we really right away start activating the deepest muscles that go side to side in the torso. We're going to add that cross back in, opposite arm and knee. Coming across, staying nice and tall. Punch out, out, quick snap. Your wrist is nice and straight when you punch. You've made a fist, but not a real tight one. Punch, punch, punch. Now this takes a little coordination now. Getting the brain to start moving and working. Bring them up. Woo. Four, three, two. Now we're just going to go into a hook. So we're coming around, shoulder height. Palm faces your body. So it's almost like you're punching them in the side of the, in their cheek, in the side of the face, your opponent. Now, like most, like all punches in boxing, it's not just about the arms. So in this one, we're turning again, kind of pivoting on that toe. And the turning of the body 
is the power behind the punch. Now, every time you punch, once you kind of get the hang of it, after you punch, you bring that hand back up to that ready position to protect your face. But that also works our core. All right, so your wrist is straight, your palms facing you, coming around, coming around. Now you can start making it a little bit more exaggerated. Wah, whoo. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now the fourth arm movement that a boxer does, we do a jab, and we did the cross, and then we did the hook, and this is an uppercut. Now you're coming from the waist up and out, like you're trying to punch your opponent in under the chin. Relax the shoulders. Now the power behind this punch is when you push the hip forward. Push, 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 push. Your palm is facing up this time. Out and in, out and in, quickly. Now you're going to start getting a little bit bigger here. So you really are feeling the core nice and tight. All right, in four, three, two, and a little boxer shuffle. Now that's how we're going to cool down, or not cool down, but bring that heart rate back down. That's what a boxer does to kind of keep moving, stay active, be alert, but also to recover. All right. Now, wide feet, toes turned out. We're going to turn toward one of the legs. So your body's facing that knee, facing and the toes, all the same direction. Doesn't matter what your back leg's doing. Let's do a few lawnmower pulls. So make sure that foot's way out there. When you lean over, your body weight's going into that heel. You're going to grab the handle, pull it back. Palm is facing down. Your leg. You're bending, straightening. So you've got the leg working. You're pulling back, getting the back muscles working. And you've got a rotation. So that's loosening up the torso and getting those muscles ready for work. So you can call it the lawnmower pull, the rototiller pull, pressure washer. <laughs> Any of those household chores use the full body all at one time. Quite a few muscle groups. And one more. Whew. All right, center. Let's inhale, get tall. And exhale. And inhale. And come on down. Let's face that other side. So foot way out there. Don't let it be way in here or we're going to hurt that knee. Step way out. Come over, grab the handle. Pull. Grab. Pull. Really get that elbow to go far behind you, getting the body to turn. So you're starting to really feel it in the legs, warming up those thigh muscles. Still drawing the navel in, of course. Three, two, one more. All right, let's bring those legs closer in. Set, the, set one leg on the heel. Pull the toes in. Your leg is locked. Your shoulders are going to stay back. We're going to do a moving hamstring stretch with an ex a uh, stretch to loosen up the shoulder. So we sweep forward as you come down. Down and up. And down and 
and up. So you're feeling it in the back of the leg and the glutes. That little moving stretch. Because in the beginning of a workout, that active stretch is also about getting the blood from your core out to the body and to warm up the muscles for use and getting the temperature up. One more. Ooh, switch it out. It's kind of hard to balance at first. Go ahead and take your time. Come down and up. Really reach up and pull back with that arm. Reach all directions. You feel that in the chest, in the shoulder, and the back of the legs, of course. Get that toe pulled up. And one more. Woo. All right, let's bring them out in front. Tuck the chin, push forward, look down. Really push out, and then straighten up, open up, pull way back, loosening up the sh shoulders and the chest. Let's rotate. Other side. All right, we're pretty warmed up, but we're going to keep warming up as we go. Let's start wide, toes turned out, kind of in a wide-footed plie stance that martial art folks will call it the horse stance or the sports stance where you're low and you're ready to move. We're going to do some speed bags. So we're just going to roll our arms. We'll start low. Keep them small. Keep them controlled. We don't want to whack ourselves in the chin. All right, let's go up. Now reverse and come back down. Do that again. Up and reverse. Now come back to center. Reverse it. Let's go to the side. And reverse. Other side. Reverse. Do it again. Whew. And reverse. Come back to center. Get it low. We're going to go around. So up and around. You might feel pretty uncoordinated. Reverse. That's OK. Just try to control those hands and reverse. Up and around. And reverse. Ooh. And let's go into a hook. So we practiced those a little bit when we were warming up. Palm facing you. Now, what we did not practice is just a plain old jab. And that's the most basic of the punches. Let's do that now. It's just straight out from the shoulder. Palm down. Now, always punch to about 90%. Don't lock that elbow. Just straight out, out and in, out and in. So nothing fancy. You're not coming across with that one. Four, three. Two, go back to the hook. Four, three, two, now jabs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hook it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, stay low. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now really draw the navel back. You can feel how tight that torso is. Hook. Hook, hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hook, hook. You can always speed it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or you can slow it way down. So whatever your speed is, hook, hook, hook. Now we're going to do doubles. Hook, 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 hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hook, 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 hook. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hook, hook, hook. Woo! So now the body actually has to hold it in place while you're hooking twice. Last double. Now, let's try four of them. Hook, 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 hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And hook, 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 hook. Getting the heart rate up. There's that cardio part. Relax the shoulders. Hook, 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 hook. Whew. Let's go back to doubles. Hook, hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hook, 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 hook. And just singles. Alrighty. So, we'll give the upper arms a break a little. Go into that little boxer shuffle. We're going to do just some knees up. So it's a knee and a knee. Pull that knee up in front of the, in front of the hip. You're tightening up the, t the core. Because like I mentioned earlier, every time we use those legs, it really digs to the deepest muscles in the abdominals. All right, let's make it bigger. Speed it up. Four, three. Let's do some doubles. Now we're going to pull down. Because in a little bit, we're going to be doing some knee strikes where you pull the head down, the, your opponent's head, and knee them in the nose. Let's do eight now. Five, four, three, two, other side. Four, three, two. Switch. It's like you're doing mini crunches. Other side. Now we're going to continue with these, but we're going to pull across. So, about shoulder height. Four, three, two, and other side. Four, three. One more set. Seven, six, five, four, three, pull, other side. Four, three, two, boxer shuffle. That's always a good way to, to recover. Get the heart rate down a little bit. Okay. We're going to be doing some. Combination. Now that we've done some hooks and some uppercuts and some knees, we're going to pull them all together. But in a moment, because we're still going to do the core benefit of each of these punches, we're going to just stay with that punch for a moment. All right. So we put one lead leg forward. Now we don't really face sideways. We're just facing front, but one leg is in front of the other. We're starting with the back arm. It's an uppercut from that waist up, then a hook, then an uppercut. And your front leg is going to do a knee strike. Remember, you're pulling the head down. So it's an uppercut, hook, uppercut, knee, uppercut, hook, uppercut, knee strike. So keep it kind of slow at first. Punch, punch. Punch and knee, uppercut, hook, uppercut. Now, when you do that knee strike, you're leaning back a little bit, kind of pushing those hips forward. And that activates the most core muscles. Remember, after you punch, try to get that hand back to your cheek, to the ready position, and pull. Pull down. Whew. You got it. 
So you do something long enough where the brain memorizes that pattern. One more. And it just kind of becomes automatic. Whew. Now it's an uppercut, hook, uppercut, hook. Keep it small. Let's make it big. Let's make it exaggerated. You're pushing the hip forward, turning. Hip, turn, hip, turn. Can you get faster? Faster still. Oh, you can feel those core muscles. Four, three, two, and shuffle it. Oh, all right. So, it's the other side. Now, remember, we just start with the individual groups. I'm pretty sure we did. <laughs> all right, ready position. From your back arm, you're doing that uppercut. Remember, you're pushing the hip. Push, push. So your hips kind of start almost facing sideways. But then you're pushing so much, you're kind of bringing it forward. Belly button pulled in. In four, three, two. Now front arm, hook it, hook it. Come around. So you got a bit of a turn. Real mobile in the hips. Keep it up. Four, three, two. Get them in that side of the chin. All right, front leg. It's a knee strike. You're pulling down. Pull. You're leaning. So that back leg, the stabilizers are really working. Pull. Pull. You can feel it. Pull. And one more. Whew. All right, back arm, uppercut, hook, uppercut, knee, uppercut, hook, uppercut, knee up. Straight on, turn, straight on, knee. Nice and controlled. Keep it tight. Not big arm movements. Try to make it fast. Or you can slow it down. Make each one a big exaggerated movement. One more. But then you know what's next. Uppercut, hook, uppercut, hook, uppercut, hook. Speed it up. Palm up, palm front. Or it's facing you. You got it. Come on. Whew. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and shuffle it out. Oh. Now. You, keep moving, do a little march. I'm going to switch back to that lead leg that we started on. It's going to be out front. And we'll do just a basic jab, cross, jab. So remember, you're straight on. You come across. You let that body turn. And then you come straight out again. But then we drop down into like a a horse stance, and we're going to slip. You're going to lean away, forward, away. So it's jab, cross, jab, slip, 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 
jab, cross, jab, back, front, back. So you're getting down out of the way of your opponent's punch. That's why they call it a slip. Back, front, back, jab, cross, jab, slip, slip, slip. Once you got it, you can speed it up, but only if you're keeping tight control over your body. Slip, 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 jab, cross, jab, slip, slip, slip. Whew, couple more. Go into that ready position to protect your face. Ah. Now, before we get to the other side, we're going to keep the heart rate up. Toes turned out. We're going to be in that plie position. All right. Now, it's in a prisoner stance. Hands up, fingertips lightly on the back of the head, so don't pull the head forward. Elbows pulled back, and you're going to lift your knees out to the side. You're facing front, so don't turn. And don't pull that heel in. Just let the feet dangle. And once you got that going, you can start leaning sideways toward that knee that comes up. We're working those side flexors. Keep the elbows back. Only do what you can. We're working a lot in the sides, but also in those hips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Whoo! Let those arms rest. So, other lead on that second side. We're going to be doing our jab, cross, jab, with our slip. So, hands at the ready, ready for a fight. Remember, it's just straight on, across the body, straight on, then drop, and away, and front, and back. Jab, cross, jab, slip, slip, slip. Jab, cross, jab, slip, slip, slip. Back, front. Quick snaps with those little punches. Jab, cross, jab. Jab, cross, jab. Jab, cross, jab. Always slow it way down. Keep it under control. Two more. And you got it. All right. Keep shuffling. So, I believe we've reached the last section. Now, Back in our wide stance, we're going to be in a plie again, or a horse stance, sports stance, because we'll actually be going up and down this time. We're going to be doing a, a jab, but instead of front, we're going to jab to the side. And instead of straight on, we're going to hit them in the head, hit them in the body. Now, the best is probably with your thumb up, kind of do a sideways punch, that's the most comfortable, or you can be palm down. So it's head, body, head, body. So you're doing a plie squat, up and down. Now you can kind of start speeding it up once you get the hang of it, pushing through those heels to get back up. Nice quick snaps out there 
Your other hand is at the ready. Whoo! Getting them in two places. All right, in eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You did it. But now we're going to try the other hand. So instead of using the closest, we're going to come across the body and do a cross. So we're going to be really mobile in our legs here. So let that foot pivot. All right, we're going to hit him in the head, in the body. Head, body, head, body, up, and down, up, down. So you've got a lot of turn. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Four, three, two. Now before we go to the other side, <clears throat> Let's just do some plie squat pulses. So we're really going to work all those leg muscles. Come on down, shoulders back, belly button pulled in, and just down and up. Riding the horse. <laughs> so don't let the back round. Keep the shoulders back. Pushing through those heels. Ooh, got to get some leg work in too, even though it's just co it's core. But squats are very much a core exercise. So you use all of this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Shake them out. But stay in that wide stance. Because we've got our body our head and our body over here to punch. So stay facing forward. Palm facing front maybe if it's comfortable for you. You're going to hit him in the head, body. Now when you come down, don't let those knees come in. Keep them wide. Snap, snap. You can start speeding it up. into those heels. And always slow it down. Down, up, down. There we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I'm not done yet. Other hand. Now, we're going to kind of stay facing front. So we haven't turned to the side. We're still facing forward. It's just our leg is going to pivot around. All right, here we go. Head, body, head, body, head. Keep those wrists nice and straight. Quick snap. Up, down. Get low, up, down. Four, three, two, last one. Whew. All right, we're doing our last block. We're finishing up. We're still in a plie because now we're going to be working those oblique muscles that are on the sides. We're going to work in a flexion and in a rotation. Now this one is not a plie squat where you push the bottom back and bend the knees. We're going to stay up, shoulders back, feet are very wide. We're just going to come down, just slide down, tailbone under a little bit, shoulders back. Now hands are in that prisoner 
squat position again. But we're not going to lift our knees this time. We're just going to tilt side to side. We keep the arms back. Don't tilt with your head. Keep it still. You're working in those sides. Get a little lower if you can. You can speed it up or slow it down. All right. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Let the arms rest. And still in this position. You're going to rotate. So, same thing. Back up with the arms. Slide down. Tailbone under, shoulders back. Let's turn, turn. Turn, turn. Belly button drawn back. Get a little lower if you can. Keep the knees from falling toward your center. In eight, seven, six, five, Four, three. Woo. Let the arms rest. Okay. Still in your slightly wide stance here. Let's fold our arms. We're going to push forward. Look down. Let that upper back round. Really feeling the shoulder blades kind of pull apart. Feel the upper back stretching. And then we'll roll back up. Keep them folded. Let's see if we can get the folded arms to the top of the head. And then just pull back if you can. That activates those posture muscles back there, the shoulder blade muscles. Let's go to the side. Other side. And back to center. Now, leaving one arm up, I'm going to pull that elbow back. Now, don't pull the head forward. Other arm out to the side. Really stretch out through the fingertips. Keep them both pulled back. And then rotate, pulling this hand back. Then come back to center. Bring that arm across the body and give it a constant, gentle pull. And that's going to stretch all those punching muscles from starting way back here all the way along the arm. Really feels good in the upper back, in the shoulder. And then release. Let's put that one on the back of the head and pull back. Stretch that arm out and rotate, pulling that arm back, getting the body to turn, getting a nice stretch around the torso and the rib cage. And then we're back to center, bring it across, give it a pull. Now release it. Let's do a front or a breast stroke going out front. You're going to just stretch out, round the back, turn the hands out and pull back and down. Pull way behind like you're trying to touch them behind. And then again, out, around, and out, around. One more. And come on back behind. Put your palms in your low back. Now stand tall, shoulders relaxed, and pull the elbows back. So don't pull them up, pull them together behind, like you're trying to touch the elbows together. And that's going to stretch the front of the shoulders and across the chest. That also keeps activating those posture muscles. 
Now release the elbows and just drop the hands down there. Or you can just have them at your side. Push toward the floor. You're going to tilt the head forward to stretch the back of the neck. And then back to center. With your arms still back there, let's turn the head, look over the shoulder. And then switching sides, stretching the neck. All right, now back to center. We're going to do an upwards breath stroke. So you're going up, reach for the ceiling, reach for the walls, reach for the floor. And up, inhale, exhale. You're lengthening the spine. Shoulder blades rise up your back, and then they lower down your back. One more, up. All right, so we combined our reused kickboxing punches and movements to work our core, but we also got the heart rate up. So I think our kickboxing cardio core class was a success. Your shoulders are down. Your posture is great. You worked all your muscles. And I'll see you again.